Don't look at the bright side where we find the silver lining in life's dark clouds. We don't have anything forward, things are secure. We just have our hope and perspective. We all want to find love and success, but our hopes and dreams are often denied by a series of cruel gatekeepers that seem to delight in our despair, leaving us feeling alone and ostracized. We all know that life isn't fair, and it's never been more apparent than when we're repeatedly shot down and reminded that we're not smart, talented, interesting, or good-looking enough to find lasting acceptance. But look on the bright side, brother. Why are you dressed like that? Started a cult. Wanna join, you sad, dejected loner? I guess so? Well, too bad, loser. But cheer up, because I'm Nat Bay Mel. And I'm Eric Barnes, and there are at least nine positives of rejection. Forces improvement. Sometimes you're rejected because simply, you're not good enough. Right now. But that doesn't mean you can't get better. Let's say, hypothetically, your crush turns you down because you have bad breath, greasy hair, and a lack of bitchin' neck tattoos. While receiving criticism sucks, it lets you know how to better yourself so you can actualize your potential and become less likely to face future rejection. I'm fucking undeniable, baby! Exposes assholes. And not in the fun way. Sometimes you're rejected for reasons beyond your control, like your race, sexuality, religion, height, Brillo pad like wavy hair, hooked nose, giant ears, grating mush mouth line delivery. Hypothetically. If someone is shallow, ignorant, or hateful enough to shoot you down for those reasons, then that's a person you don't want to associate with in the first place. Be grateful they didn't waste your time and expose their asshole to you right away. The fun way. <laughs> makes you stronger. If you learn how to cope with disappointment and use it as motivation to soldier on, it makes you tougher. Working through every small no could lead to a bigger yes later on. It's like working out for your soul. Every rejection is like protein powder to get your soul swole. <laughs> I mix mine with cranberries. What's the metaphor there? Oh, no metaphor. I just like it. It's good for my urethra, plus tastes like Christmas. Christmas. Are you a Jorce's creativity? Chew? Oh, uh, I'm here now. Uh, when you're cast aside, you try to find ways of making others accept you, which in turn breeds creativity. Every entertainer you love got their start by seeking attention they weren't getting somewhere else in their lives. Actors, comedians, and YouTubers are essentially children standing on a diving board screaming, Look what I can do! Hey everybody, look what I can do! You're not looking! And since we're all three of those things... Our pain keeps you entertained. Saves money. Chew. You can finally afford that new trombone with all the cash you save on Christmas and Mother's Day presents after being disowned. <laughs> trombone. Less likely to get caught masturbating. If you've been rejected by everyone in your life, that means no one's around to catch you Banking the monkey. Joking the chicken. Sand blasting the platypus. Elbow dropping the walrus. Oh, uh, unless you're an exhibitionist creep that does that in public. In which case, they're right for rejecting you. Knuckle dusting the water buffalo. They get it! Saves time. Sometimes it's better to be let go instead of being jerked around by someone that's not interested but trying to be nice. Breaking up sucks. But what sucks even worse is spending 20 years in a loveless relationship, growing resentful, and only sticking around out of a sense of obligation based on your shared history, fearing to answer the inevitable question of what happened, yet still gripping to the hope of regaining the spark that was once there. Jesus, man. What's her name? Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> Wind up with something better. If you get dumped, you can end up with someone you're more compatible with. If you get fired from a shitty job with no dental benefits, you can end up with a shitty job that at least has medieval dental benefits. Rejection also makes collaboration better. If everyone working on a project is too afraid to speak up and reject any ideas, it can lead to awful plans being pushed through and things going just completely off the rails. 
Yeah, uh, about that. Is it too late to say? This medieval dental bit is excellent and you love it? Mm -hmm. Thanks, bud. Yeah. Gratitude. If you always get what you want, you'll never enjoy anything. More full of action. Well said. You know, I think there just might be some room in our cult after all. No thanks. Oh, I get it. You're rejecting us for revenge, aren't you? Of course not. I'm not that type of petty. I'm the type of petty where I start my own cult. Come on, gang. Let's go get cotton candy pizza pie shakes. We all want to find love and success. Our hopes and prayers are often denied by a series of cool gatekeepers. It seems to provide an art sphere. Yes. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. If you can think of any more positives for rejection, why don't you go ahead and leave them down there in the comments. Please like, subscribe, and ring that bell in order to help the algorithm boo. We also would like to thank our special guest, Mr. Alex Hooper. Hi everybody, please go to my website, hoopercomedy.com, and listen to my podcast, Achilles Heel, new episodes drop every single Monday. And as always, everybody, until we meet again, fuck you, be nice. Soul. 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 Dick in mouth. Three, two, one, be sad. <laughs> Right, they get it. It's fine. Jesus, stop. Oh, for the love of fuck, Nat. Jesus.